What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here back from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video and this one is pretty cool. So let's get into it. I can't wait to show you guys what this is all about. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by as always. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports back with a brand new sneaker review for you. So I have a box here from X-Step. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but these are a pair of running shoes and they actually look pretty cool and they come from China. This is a Chinese brand and apparently it's quite big in China. I didn't know about them obviously until they reached out to me and said, hey, can we send you a pair of shoes? We'd like you to do a review. We've seen your content and we're interested in having you try out our products. So they sent a pair of running shoes to me and uh, you know, full transparency, I'm gonna do a review of these. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about them and let's review them. So first things first, X-Step, as far as I'm aware, it seems like they're quite big. They're quite big in China and I guess for those of us that are in North America, we're so used to the Nikes, the Adidas, the New Balances, Puma, all of these big brands that are a little bit more known to us in this part of the world. This is, I suppose, a brand just like those that I mentioned. Let's show you what's inside the box. The box is a plain white box, nothing special. Flip the lid open and I have a pair of running shoes here. So there you go, these are the 160X 1.0 running shoe and let's show you, we'll get them out of the box and we'll show you what these are all about. So let's talk a little bit about the upper quickly and the midsole and the outsole. So the upper is extremely thin. If you're interested in a very thin shoe, it doesn't really get much thinner than this. It is basically see-through. It's simply, you can see my fingers right there, it is a mesh-based upper with very little reinforcement, right? It's designed to be a lightweight, breathable running shoe. These would be good in the summer on a hot, warm, humid day and allow your feet to breathe. There is some good structure, as I mentioned, especially when we're talking about propelling your foot forward. It's not really designed for any kind of lateral movement. It really is good though and bounces back nicely when moving forward. The structure of the shoe has this kind of um, 3D skeleton, if you will, kind of on the inside, just giving it a little bit of structure. But again, it's so thin that the upper is really designed to be a lightweight, breathable. You then have the midsole, which is a good amount of cushion. I don't have any kind of tech specs as to what this midsole is actually made out of. I don't have any sort of technical terms for you, but it is a good amount of foam. It's branded as a dynamic foam midsole right here. It is relatively thick. It does have some nice bounce and some nice cushion to it. And again, you can see that there is a plate on the inside underneath in that sole plate area, just providing you that kind of springiness and that stability that you're looking for when actually running. The outsole has a decent amount of grip to it. There's nothing special about that, but again, I think it's gonna do, do the job absolutely fine. And from what I can tell, based on my first impressions and this unboxing and in this review, they actually look to be quite good. So that's pretty much it. Again, there's not too much to go over in terms of tech specs. It's a mesh-based upper with an internal 3D sort of skeleton to give it that little bit of shape that it needs. A dynamic foam midsole, whatever that means, but that's how they brand it. It does feel like a good solid amount of foam. It does feel quite sturdy. And then a typical outsole underneath with that carbon fiber looking plate underneath, just giving you that little bit of stability when actually running in them. The last thing to go over is the colorway. Now there are a few options when it comes to color. This was, in my opinion, the best one that they offered on this model at least. It's very flashy. You're definitely going to notice them. They're very bright. It's kind of a mix of a highlighter yellow and a sort of forest green, if you will, with little hits of this kind of you know, coral color, just giving it a little bit of an accent. It does look kind of cool in my opinion, but they're definitely bright. And the only other thing that I failed to mention before that I think you should be aware of are the laces. The laces are extremely long. They're, they're too long in my opinion. I would, I think I will actually. I'm gonna cut the laces out. Once I tie them and get them on feet, the extra part of the laces that I don't need, they're probably about three or four inches too long on each side. So I'll probably just cut them down because they're way too long and they don't need to be that long. But other than that point, that's pretty much it for the upper. Let's slip these things on feet so we can talk about fit and feel. So there you go, there's a quick look at the X-Step 160X 1.0 model on feet. Again, it is a running shoe. It's extremely lightweight, very light on your feet. You really do notice it. 
extremely thin and very breathable. After all, it is just a mesh upper. When you put them on feet, at least for my wide feet, they're actually quite comfortable. They have a decent amount of width to them. They do feel very natural through the midsole. There's no kind of pressure points or anything like that. They actually feel quite good. And again, very light, very breathable. I suspect that they're going to perform just fine when running in them. My only question is how long they'll last just because I don't have any experience with a shoe like this from this brand. So only time will tell how long they last but they do feel very comfortable on feet and for someone that's interested in a light, breathable running shoe, you're definitely gonna get that feeling from this. In terms of sizing, I actually went up half a size. I went with half a size bigger just because I wasn't sure about the fit and I thought I'd rather have them slightly too big than slightly too small. If you're interested in a snug fit, I would suggest going true to size, but if you just like that little bit of extra room, the half a size up is definitely the way to go. I don't regret going half a size up. Again, I wasn't sure how these things fit, so I decided to go just a little bit bigger just in case, and they fit me fine. They're at, In fact, they're quite comparable to my Adidas Ultra Boost, so you could probably go half a size up on the safe side. Again, if you are someone that likes a very, very tight fit, your true to size will be fine, but I do suspect that they'll fit quite snug. So just be aware of that. That's pretty much it. Let's send it back to the desk and we'll wrap the video up. So there you have it, guys. There's my review of the X-Step running shoes, the 160X 1.0. Again, huge thanks to them for shooting these out my way and allowing me to do a review. And if you guys are interested in trying these out yourselves, I actually have a discount code available for you. It is ATS, all things sports, ATS15. You can use that at checkout and actually get 15% off your order if you're interested in trying a pair for yourself. Now, there are a ton of different models on their website. You can go to that first link down below in the description. It'll be a link to their website, their storefront, and they ship worldwide. And there's a ton of models. I was shocked at how many different kinds of shoes they have and how many different models. They actually might be worth it. You could definitely try something new, something that a lot of people, at least in this part of the world, have probably not seen. So again, if you're interested in anything from them, check out that first link down below in the description. Use my coupon code ATS15 to get 15% off your order and give them a shot because honestly, I was quite impressed with them and I think they're gonna do the job just fine. If you're interested in trying something different rather than the typical Nike, Adidas, Puma, New Balance, whatever it is that we're used to in North America, they're definitely, a definitely, a good option just to check out again if you're interested in something different so that's it that's my review of this running shoe the x-step 160x 1.0 let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you enjoyed the video please smash it with a like hit the subscribe button as well i'm mike mcintyre i'm signing off for now all things sports i'll catch you guys in the next video till then take care peace